Saratoga has a very, very colorful history, and we have a lot of people who lived here and grew up here who have gone on to uh, achieve noti notoriety, notoriety. notoriety in uh, the world, mm -hmm. and including the two actresses, uh, Joan Fontaine and Olivia de Havilland, mm -hmm. Paul Masson, the vintner, uh, Senator James Phelan, who was a senator and had Montavo, owned Montavo, um, a lot of other people, Olympic swimmers, and all, Steven Spielberg, mm -hmm. we've added him this year. And so the object is to have Saratoga, particularly the children, to learn about their town history. And we moved to Saratoga to La Paloma. I went to Los Gatos High School. And my older sister got into Hollywood and I followed. Why don't you just tell us a little bit about who you were? <laughs> my name is Theodore Vorsch. I was Hungarian. Some people have spelled it W-O-R-E-S. However, Actually, you would put a V in the front and an SH on the end, Theodore Vorsch. I lived in the what is now the Bell Tower. The Bell Tower. Which used to be the, the Methodist Church. Mm -hmm. I lived there until 1939. I had a studio in San Francisco. I went to the San Francisco uh, Theodore Vorsch uh, studio. And, uh, you know, we met. And uh, um, he one that painted a picture of me. You were Saratoga's first librarian. Was that unusual in those days to, for a woman to have any kind of job at all? Uh, perhaps, and I wasn't really, to be honest, I wasn't really a trained librarian. My husband, Mr. Buckley, owned the drugstore in downtown Saratoga. And when it came time to start up a library as a branch of the Santa Clara County Library System, it was determined that the drugstore would give a little bit of space, a little corner, to the library. And as his wife, I became the de facto librarian.